And I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we are doing this a day early this week. We are in week three of our grocery um, month. And so uh, I went ahead and did this a day early because tomorrow uh, I will be getting the house ready and us ready for my 13 year old and I to go on a ladies retreat with the church. And so um, I just preferred to be home tomorrow for that and for us to wrap up a good amount of our schooling for the week. So this is what I bought and it's not much. As you know, the first week, I believe I spent 300. I would have to look on the prior video or on my paperwork to find out, but we had a big grocery haul. And then last week we had a small mini haul similar to this. And then this week we have another mini haul. Next week will be the same thing, and we'll start all over again with another big haul. But, let's see, these were actually free. I went to a local thrift store, and every once in a while, they'll have some produce out that you could pick for free. Or not pick, but get for free. And this just so happened to be there, so that's what we're going to have tonight with some chicken legs. Four loaves of bread. The 45 calorie bread is 18 carb grams per two slices. So I picked up four loaves. We're fresh out of bread. Only two lonely gallons of milk because we still have milk in the refrigerator from this past week. We did not consume as much. Two cans of mushrooms, some carrots, cabbage, Saltine crackers, anytime we have soup, which is usually about once a week, we could go through almost a whole box of saltines. These were 49 cents a bag. I think it's because the date goes out today. Even if we don't eat them today, which is highly likely that we could, um, they'll still be good. And so I just, there, there was only one bag left, and so I got that. Hot dog buns and hot dogs and some thighs. I have some chicken legs in the freezer that I can match up with these thighs for another meal. Now, I did, James and I spent over $12 at Walmart this past weekend um, buying a few things of which I cannot think too terribly much of what they are besides cocoa powder and some seasonings and Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce and stuff to put on some steaks for church we had um, this past weekend. and um, But that was 12 something. And today I spent $20.38. So that brings me up to $33. So the grand total so far is $371. We are a family of eight, just in case you're not familiar with us. And... Um, I am trying to keep the grocery budget at $400 for the month. That's just for food items, not non-food. Non-food, we usually spend about $40, um, 40 to $50. So, um, we went ahead and we have spent $371. And so that gives me $29 to make it through the very last week of this. And then on April the 6th, we start all over again. So what do I have planned? Something has changed right here. This is where we're going to have the meatball stew. But let's start here on Thursday. Chicken and noodles. And I might make on the side some chicken and cabbage. It's like chicken, yeah, chicken and cabbage so that I don't have to worry about the noodles in mine. And then taco soup, hot dogs jambalaya and then that night we're having a church social after the evening service so I'll probably take chili mac um, chicken enchiladas I had this right here planned but what we'll do here is do a meatball stew uh, pinto bean casserole and chicken soup so we'll probably have also for lunch vegetable soup yes ramen soup yes sandwiches Yes, and I will actually probably hide these and put those up to have chips right there with those sandwiches. Chicken soup, I'm not so sure of. I might replace this with something. Quesadillas, yes. Um, sandwiches or salad. 
and then burritos. So anyway, that's everything for this coming week. As far as our breakfast, we'll be having oatmeal bakes and eggs. And there's grits here as well. So there you go with that. Oh, we could do biscuits and gravy too one morning. So anyway, I hope y'all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.